Music to me is a language to convey emotion, to convey ideas, to convey feelings. And it's a very powerful language. It transcends generations, it transcends cultures, uh, nations, and in its purest sense, it's nonverbal, instrumental music. But when you add poetry, lyrics to the music, it can become even more powerful. And when a song is working and when music is working, it's a really special, special thing. If I wasn't a singer, I would likely be a visual artist or a filmmaker. I studied painting, I've studied uh, graphics, graphic arts. I have studied filmmaking and I'm still involved in that with my own music videos. I direct them and uh, produce them. No, I never bathroom sing. Mm -mm. Never have. Can't imagine. Can't imagine starting now. Yes, I've forgotten some song lyrics while performing live on stage. It's not a fun thing. It's not good when it happens. Uh, as you gain experience being a singer, it will happen on occasion. So you learn a couple of different tricks on how to deal with it. One is to make up new lyrics on the spot. And that can be very hit or miss. Sometimes they can be brilliant. Uh, other times, not so much. Uh, another thing you can do is to repeat uh, lyrics from elsewhere in the song. For example, if you're singing and you see and, and realize that you forget a verse, well, sing another verse, even if you have to repeat it. My family, my community, uh, the world around me growing up is what inspired me to make music as an adult, uh, listening to music on the radio, uh, going to see family members perform, uh, seeing concerts in Texas where I grew up. A lot of great music in Texas. I enjoy collaborating uh, with other musicians and artists that are from other age groups, other generations than myself, either younger or older. I find it really rewarding. It, it gets to be kind of this uh, transfer of information and ideas that's a lot different than if you're working with someone your own age. Uh, younger people, they want to learn, they want to learn from someone older. Um, so whether I'm the younger one or I'm the older one, it's always special when I can, can work with others that are uh, of a different age group than me. Oh, I performed throughout North America, uh, in Europe, mostly the UK and France, uh, the United States, uh, West Coast, East Coast, Texas, uh, all over, Ontario, Canada. Uh, one of my favorite venues to perform at was in France, in Rennes, a place called Ubu. Had a great night there a couple of years ago, it was really special. I do have some upcoming shows. Uh, as things uh, evolve here in the United States with the virus and the controls and for people's safety, uh, we'll be performing live more. Uh, next up is a, is a day at a, a place in Valley Stream, Long Island, near New York City. And I'll be there in April at a place called Buckley's. Uh, one of my favorite artists is uh, a traditional American folk singer uh, from the 20th century named Leadbelly. Hudy Ledbetter was his real name. And I've been uh, performing a song of his called In the Pines for many years and, and I never get tired of singing that one. It is also called Where Did You Sleep Last Night? So it kind of has two titles but it's the same song. It's a waltz, three, four times.
I admire all the greats from the worlds of jazz, blues, country, uh, roots music, uh, folks like Miles Davis, John Coltrane, uh, Patsy Cline, Billie Holiday, Hank Williams, uh, list goes on and on. Those are the artists that inspire me and that I keep coming back to listen to. Learn their songs too. Sing them. The best advice I've been given for a, uh, an artist, a musician, is to not give up. To keep going. Because there's always going to be times where you hit a wall. Uh, either creatively or uh, in the business of promoting yourself as an artist. Uh, and there are times where you're not going to get a lot of support. So you have to look deep down inside uh, to keep going. So I've always tried to be slow and steady. Just keep creating and keep doing it. I'm not a big fan of the music industry's uh, way of handling streaming music. Uh, the music industry went under some uh, significant changes in the last 20, 30 years with uh, the uh, beginning of the digital age and now we've evolved into music being uh, distributed through streaming services online. I'd like to see these streaming services uh, pay the artists more fairly. Right now uh, very little uh, compensation money is paid to the artists themselves. Uh, the people making the money are the streaming services. Well, I'm excited uh, about 2021. I've got an album coming out at the end of the year called From Nowhere to Somewhere. Uh, this was recorded uh, at the end of 2020. Uh, I'm really excited about the songs. They're all original. They're all songs I wrote or co-wrote. Uh, between now and the fall, we're going to be releasing some singles off the record, kind of a preview, kind of a taste. Uh, there'll be a few music videos as well, but uh, look for a, a full album from Phil Gamage uh, by the end of 2021. All right, I'm going to play a song for you that I wrote called Motel Called Loneliness. It's three.